Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Mind Magic 2! Today... Uh, I don't know, I mean, we've been doing some overland exploring. I'm honestly kind of tempted to see about maybe getting some pluses. So we are once more back in Middlegate here, and I'm getting lost, because that's what I do. Uh, but I want to see... Hmm... I think we might try to get Gold Leaf her plus again. Because that's the one that we know where it is. And yes, the map is blank. That's because I, I'm i not out in the, the world. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we'll try this. So we just want Harry Carey and Gold Leaf. Because she has the Admit 8 pass. He's, <laughs> he's got a fucking inventory full of thieves' picks. What's the worst that could happen? All right, just going back in there to save really quick. An inventory full of thieves picks and his thunderous 42 hit points. I could be bringing the rest with us, but I honestly don't think we need them. Uh, really, the only ones that I can think that we would need would maybe be Dark Mage, or I guess maybe Drog. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so into Korax Cave, and the reason I think we're gonna be okay is because any fight that we get into in here is gonna be undead, and I'm just going to have Goldleaf Holy Word them. And her speed is fast enough now that she should be okay. So let's go ahead and unlock this. We step forward, our admit eight pass is taken. We unlock this, we step forward, we are attacked, we fight back. Oh, the raids are actually fast enough. Well, that's sure. And we're just gonna Holy Word these guys. And there they go. Alright, and we're just gonna rest. I'm not even gonna bother searching. We do not need light because we have mapped this. And we surprise them. I'm still surprised that these guys are faster than Goldleaf is, because we got that speed thing. Although I guess her speed is only 19. I don't know, maybe we should like crank her up a little bit. Can it help anyone but clerics? Alright, Harry Carey, I am sorry, my friend. But you are going to have to leave, and I need to remember D. Bye, Harry. All right, so we'll go ahead and cast light, because I fear not being able to see. All right. Proceed into the tomb. There's no encounter here. I do remember that this was nasty, so theoretically, if I cast, like, lasting light, I think it was, which is 3-5? No. I don't know, I thought the whole point of Lasting Light was that it was supposed to let us see in the darkness, but apparently not. Alright, here it is. So again, with the fingers of death, we have to survive this. Yeah, and like, we die. So like, I don't... <sighs> I don't know what we're expected to do. I'm gonna go ahead and close the game and restart it. Just so that we don't have to go get another Admit 8 Pass. We know where they are. They're in the sands of our caverns. I'm just trying to save us some time. So maybe in that case, we just need to, like, crazy level our speed attribute or something. I don't, I don't know. Because, yeah, those things have, like, an 80% chance to cast Finger of Death, and it just, like, legit insta-gibs her because she's terrible, I guess. So there's not a whole lot we can do. So, all right, we'll, uh, we'll head out on the world map, I guess, and... Uh, I suppose we can explore... It's itself. I think I said we were gonna do that last time. So let's see what we've got. I do want to water walk us, which is 3-6. Just to kind of expedite our exploration here. We'll kind of stick to the waterways for the time being, kind of just mowing up. What was that? What did that say? That said something. What was it? Must be this tall. If you wish to take the cruise, please make arrangements with a travel agent. Now I'm good. Some druids! 40 hit points, they cast silence. They also draw die to stray fireballs. Ooh, but not all of them. Magic resistance. That's okay. Got some gems. Nothing I really honestly care about on if if I'm being completely truthful with y'all. Uh is this all the water? I think this is... Yeah, that is the extent of the river. Okay. So let's go ahead and map this section, then. Older guys, ninjas, druids, killer canines. This is a hell of a group. Shh. 
sure. None of them are really particularly difficult, so I'm just going to um, star. Uh, of course, you don't have enough spell points. Why does Dark Mage only have 19 spell points? They each cast like a fireball. Whatever, I'm just gonna let my melees do what my melees do. Plus three nunchucks, a flamberg, plus three, some gems. We'll nap. And we will have gold leaf. Rewater walk the party. And just kind of continue clearing out areas of the map here. Some barbarians. Uh, 16,000 XP apiece. Some hit points. Minor magic resistance. They do not frenzy. Uh, so that's nice. We'll just try to incinerate them. Not affected. Alright. Uh, they have cold fire and it looks like poison resist. So, 82 megavolts. Oh yeah, they felt that one. Swell coming in with his, like, freaking ridiculous flail. We gotta go fight that lizard some more and just get some other gear. Alright, yeah. I'm not even gonna bother. Like, we'll nail him with one bit of death magic, but I'm not gonna be spamming that because it's a lot of spell points and gems. And they're freaking barbarians. Oh. Druids only. That's a lot of champions. And they surprised us. Ah. Uh, we'll probably be okay. These guys have got some pretty substantial magic resistance. So I think I'm just gonna power shield my party. Robe. They are resistant to cold fire, electric, and poison. So basically everything Rove can do. Uh, web them? I think this is five targets? Ah, uh, I failed. Alright, melees. They have range attacks, but they did not save them. Some squires. These are just weaker champions. <laughs> some plate armor, some split mail. Cavaliers. Uh, also weaker champions, so let's auto attack through it. It's nice being able to just kind of explore. Like, this is one of my favorite things to do in the Might and Magic series, is just poking around. And it's nice not, it's nice not having to constantly worry that, like, everything is just going to absolutely murder you. And it also makes it more interesting when you finally do bump into something that'll murder you, because then you have to actually, you know, pause for a second and be like, well, how am I going to deal with this? And... Honestly, to me, that's kind of like the mark of a good RPG, where, like, it, it does both things. Like, it makes you feel like roving badasses, but then every so often it's like, oh, no, wait. We're tough, and we have a lot of things that we can do, but we probably should pay some attention to this. So we're just going to fireball some of these guys. The champions are going to be immune. That's what our melees are for. We're getting engulfed by, like, fireballs and stuff. We're finding a bunch of items. Sadly, nothing that I've seen this far has been particularly interesting. Mostly because I'm now, like, weighing everything against that plus 32 flail, which... Ooh, accuracy gauntlets plus 5. Really? I would... Uh, I dropped the holy charm, it's not even magical. I don't know who I would give that. I guess I could give that to Drog. Here. Assuming he can use it. Are they aligned? They are, but they're neutral. Nice. Trade item with Drog. Accuracy gauntlets. Let's see how much they improve his accuracy. From a 13 to a 24. 11 points. Very nice. Look at that. We got a, a freaking equipment upgrade. What is this life? Drop some of these. Like random. Oh, he's got some plus three accuracy gauntlets on too. Those are unaligned. Uh... I would say give him to Devon, but Devon does not need him. Actually, Chunk could maybe use those, but I don't know what I would get rid of. Maybe the crossbow? Yeah. I don't want to drop. Remove or and equip B. Because Chunk's mostly a melee fighter. Like, he's kind of only ranged incidentally. Split mail plus one is junk. This is a lot of encounters. A cold draft emerges from the opening of a web-strewn shaft. Go down. 
I mean, we will, but not until we're done exploring. We gotta clear out this map all at like, I'm... <laughs> Everything must die! There's experience points to be had. Passage leads behind the falls! Ooh. Sure. Okay. Map? Where am I? Oh, it just teleported me to the map to the north of where we were. Oh, okay. So if I go south far- there we are. Weird. Alright, so it just teleports us back to the map to the north. Okay, not a big deal. Alright, Champions, Mutants, Stranglers. Stranglers paralyze. Uh, mutants, Energy Blast. Coughing Creeps, Drain Magic, as we know. They're, however, also undead. Uh, let's go ahead and try magicking. Eh, there's, there's some magical susceptibility, at least amongst the Stranglers, which I'm gonna try and kill. Oh, for that exact reason. Okay. Uh, shoot the Strangler. Fight the Strangler. Alright. Chunk just critically hit that thing, too. Okay, so, Gold Leaf. Holy word. Kill all those coffin creeps. I'm not worried about the rest of these things, honestly. Uh, looks like Fantastic Freeze might be of use here. Ah, failed. Alright, the melees are just gonna do their dark business here. Alright, not too bad. Ooh, I think that was an Icicle? Yeah, Icicle plus four and a an herbal patch. What does an Icicle do? Cast Cold Beam. Huh. Alright, I mean, I'm never gonna use it, but... Nifty, I guess. Alright, Gold Leaf. Like... Some of these things, like, they feel like they're properties that could be cool if... If the game maybe had it so that weapons dealt, like, elemental damage on hit. Like, it's Icicle, so you hit things and it does a couple damage. An old druid pays you no heed as he munches enthusiastically on red-hot wolf nipple chips. Mmm. Etch into a huge stone is an S. More druids. Oh my god, you guys. Alright. They're susceptible to fiery death and swords, so they're worth next to no experience points. I mean, to be fair... Eh, not bad drops. To be fair, we are in the area that said it. I think it was like druids only. Huge stone is a D. Alright, I'm just gonna, like, straight up murder these guys. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what was that? Strange pagan symbols and runes carved on the trees of the oak grove baffle the party. Okay. What's that? Eerie shadows dance off the six megalithic stones and stand ominously in a semicircle from Bloodstained Sacrificial Altar. A voice booms. Password. Uh, wrong, look to the stones. Alright, so that's probably what the letters are. So we have S and D. I don't know, I have my party silenced. Go ahead and just sleep to fix that up. I, so we have S, D, and I. Let's see what else we get. I'm not even bothering to loot these things, because, like, they're... I mean, I guess they give us gems. So we have S, D, and I. Is that it? I'm thinking that's it. Max HP potion. That's, you know, nothing to sneeze at. And some barbarians! Uh, Megavolts. God, that does so much damage. It's so swingy, though. Alright, we're just gonna run from this group because it's not worth the expenditure to fight them. Same. Alright, so we have S, D, and I. And there's more to explore over here, so I'm assuming... It's not like fucking druids, is it? I hate everything. Alright, so we have... This is apparently a dungeon we can explore. We also found the one down here. We're gonna do, I guess, the web-strewn one first, because we found it first. How much money do we have? Alright, we've got nearly a million gold. I'm just... I'm paying attention to our currency because I want to be able to, like, rest regularly, and if we run low, we're just going to go back and kill dragons for a little while. 
All right, so we're in a cave. What do we got? Where are we? Forbidden Forest Cavern, according to the, uh, according to where are we? No. Paladins only. Sign reads, Paladins only. Can't you read? Who? Armored, that is like, that is like a fucking menagerie of different enemies here. The only one that I'm worried about is the Armored Dragon, which only has, only has 400 hit points. Yeah, we'll, we'll take this fight. Oh, and it breathes on us. Back row's in trouble. Rove! Uh... Mega Bolts. Ah, oh, it feels good. Alright. Swell should probably be able to put this thing down. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, that, that flail of his is just... Ass nine. Well, they're throwing fingers of death. Swell just got exploded. Uh, these things are immune to like everything, so we're just gonna attack and pray. Come on, guys. There we go. So half of the front row is dead. Loot. A meteor bow plus nine. Not bad. We're gonna rest. And of course, we get ambushed. Devon flees because that's what Devon does. Alright, we're gonna nap. There we go. So who is... Devon is the only survivor. God fucking damn it. Of course he would be. Okay, I'm trying to think. The north. There's gonna be an encounter to the north, I think. Uh, yes. Alright. My goal is to get us out of here. Oh. We're gonna have to follow the trees. Which is gonna take us through three encounters with just Devon, but he does have a meteor bow. Assuming he can use it, it is good aligned, which means he can't use it. Which is a shame, because that fucker casts meteor shower. I mean, we might still be able to use it. Let's find out. Can I just run? Oh, I'm a genius. All right, we're going to wuss out to civilization. Just going to follow the signs. Ah, uh, Sanzibar, it's good to be back. Where's the temple? Oh, oh, oh that, that was it. There we go. Fucking random fingers of death flying around, killing half my party. Uh, okay, so now I just want to go west, and eventually, I hope, we'll pop back. Okay, we're not where I thought. Now we maybe want to know. I have no idea where we are. Uh, okay, Sandsbar and Hillstone. I mean, I want to go... I want to go west, and then north? This should have eventually popped me... Oh my god, just kill these guys. They paralyze us, but I don't give a shit. Alright, where are we? Um... D3. On the surface. Aha! How in the hell... I'm gonna get over here, I think. I think this is... The map that we were on? Yes, okay. So we're gonna massacre our way past these cavaliers. And just go back into the caves. Okay, so now we know. Now we know that going into the paladins only area is bad. Army barracks. Army barracks. Hmm. Alright. Whoa. Hey, giant ogres. You guys haven't been a threat for a long time. Thieves pick plus four and a power club. What does that do? Plus three might. Alright, so I mean, I guess if we wanted strength, this is like, that's an item that I think would be probably more useful if we could dual wield, because you could have a character with that to like, crank his strength up, and then infantry, infantry, legions, le alright, let's find a- uh, uh, No chill when it comes to anything that frenzies. Not because I'm necessarily particularly- I just realized this place is actually lit, like we just rested. No tasteless orc jokes allowed. Alright. Seventh Legion. Okay. Fifth Legion. Alright, what's in the Seventh Legion room? There's decidedly- uh oh, I was gonna say there's decidedly less than a Legion in here, but then there was a Legion in here. It's kobolds, guys. Like, even the back row is not afraid of these guys. Also, they have no ranged attacks. 
I mean, we're gonna be peeling kobold bits out of our armor for months. Wow, all that for a saber and, you know, a couple thousand gold pieces. Shamans and a shitload of orcs. Just fireball them. There we go. And same thing. If I really get into a fight in here that I'm worried with, I'll just, like, pop power shield and that'll basically make us immune to anything that these guys can do. Because, I mean, like, the orcs have ranged weapons, so they'll be able to hit, like, my back row, but they're still only going to be doing a couple points of damage. And the shameful thing is I can't really do, like, massive AoE in here, because, like, all of my big AoE, like, Starburst or Meteor Shower, they're all outside, so the only real AoE I can do in here are, like, ten target spells. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how worth MPs the Sarge command. Let's kill the Sarge. Death's Agent, 600 hit points. Cast Lightning Bolt, worth 230,000 experience points. Speed of 32, so it's gonna go first, I think. It did not. All right, well that means it's gonna get imploded. And it's resistant to like all magic and I don't think Rove can actually cast implosion, can he? He can. Problem solved. Death's agent goes down. Helm plus two. All right. Well, the Sarge was found wanting. Do we actually, we actually don't need to rest. Holy shit. Implosion's only 30 spell points, guys. Are we looking for gems? We are looking fine on gems. All right, so we got some MPs, military police in here. Gnome elders! They cast pain, we cast fireballs. And our melees cast stab, I guess. A plus two katana, and that is it. All right, well, let's see what command consists of. A bunch of mutants, okay. Um, resistant to like everything except cold. I don't think I have any like big AOE cold spells. I think Fantastic Freeze is single target. Six three. Uh, no, it targets three things. Then we have Cold Beam, which is a single target. They are resistant to electric. Is it resistant to fire? I'm gonna cast Dancing Sword. Dancing Sword is physical damage, I believe. And it's gonna be a substantial amount of it. They do have magic resistance, so that's that's why they're resisting it. <sighs> Rove does not have Dancing Sword. Rove gets to just attack. Everybody just attack. These things energy blast, but they're not gonna kill us before we kill them. There we go. Backpacks are full! According to where are we, we are missing out on Splint Mail plus six, a Helm plus three. Probably some things that I actually want, so we'll drop that, we'll drop that. Backpacks are full. Devon has two inventory spaces unless you need, like, specifically three spaces, and it's just punishing me for not having the exact right amount, which, if I had to guess, is probably what it's doing. There we go. Not particularly good loot, but I'll take it. Okay, so we have, like, I was gonna say, nothing in here, really. I'm curious why these squares on the map are white and the rest are green. Oh, all right. We're in this. Maybe it's because these are like a secret area or something. Except it's really not. GHQ. Orcs. They surprised us. It did not save them. Eh, I'm actually not gonna bother looting this chest. Leave it. It's got 200 gold and trash loot in it. More orcs. Same thing. I have a feeling, like, it's weird. I think we're in the barracks right now, so I'm sure these are all just gonna be, yeah, just fights with the orcs. I'm not gonna bother with this. Um, it's, it, this dungeon feels like we should be in here, like, it's weird at both low level and high level, because, like, low level, like, a bunch of these monsters are just scrubby things, and then there's, like, a fight with ancient dragons and shit, so I don't know. Uh, and we have trolls, so we'll fireball them. And then the melees will handle the mutants. Some rope and hooks. More trolls. Alright, there we go. A plus three warhammer. The war room. We'll rest and we'll go in. I'm mostly just here to map werewolves and weir bulls. 
I'm noting a decided lack of magic immunity on these guys, so they're getting Mega Volts. Which is like way overkill. I could have probably fireballed them, but Mega Volts hits more targets. Bunch of gems, I'll take that. Alright, is that, that it? That's it. Alright. Uh, we're all looking okay. We'll keep poking around here. More barracks, by the look of it. I'm sure that I'm sure that this square is more crazed dwarves, which I just do not want to deal with. What do we got? Can, seriously, game? Like, oh, it wouldn't be as bad if the game gave you like mass damage spells that couldn't only be cast outside, but it doesn't. Sadly. High action gameplay here, just watching that number of goblins tick down. There we go, and they dropped a total of 7,000 gold pieces and some chain mail. Oh my god, it's like seriously the same exact fight. Shamans and a shed load of orcs. Ugh. Yo dog, I heard you liked filler content. So I think that room that says Paladins only, I think that's where Swell is going to have to do his Paladin class thing. MPs, the Sarge. Right, is this like, is this seriously going to be another? Oh, this is different. All right, we got a Devil's Envoy. This guy fireballs us. But I think Dark Mage is probably going to one-shot him. Yep. Look at that. Easy XP, though. Like some dumpster tier drops. I mean, I guess the plus six helm isn't that bad. All right, command mutants again. Melees will just go to town on these guys. You can see though, the energy blasted the shit out of us. So like that counts for something. We're gonna rest. We'll search. This uh, chest had enough money in it that it paid for our resting there. So I'll take it. MPs are again gnomes. Fair enough. This game seems to take a dim view on the military police, as, as tends to be my understanding of most people in the military's view on military police. Those crypt fiends worry me. I'm gonna actually... How's this? I'm gonna try to run from this. Alright. I'm gonna fucking implode their asses, then. Those things were the cause of much trouble last time we were in here. Shadow rogues steal all of our gold. But I don't know if they can do it at range? So I'm gonna let Devon handle the- oh no, they're in melee now. RIP. Uh, gold leaf. Oh, you can't moon rain doors, can you? Yeah. Um... It's such a shame gold leaf really doesn't have much in the way of, like, use- like, moon rays is, like, an easy AoE. Can she cast fiery flail? Yeah. Ah, and of course they resist it. Alright. Resist the fireballs. I think not. Alright, so our gold. All that we're missing there is a helm plus five. Let's see, is this gonna be. Oh, no, nope, same place. Alright. Yeah, I mean, outside of. Like, this fucking horror show. Is it on both squares? No. Yeah, outside of this horror show, like, this place hasn't been you know, unreasonable to explore. A lot of what feels like filler encounters to me. Can I walk through this? I can, nice. All right, so with that, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Uh, we wanna go north. Kill these assholes. Actually, what am I doing? I, I keep forgetting, like, we don't have to walk the town anymore. Bam, we're in Middlegate. Let's go to the shop and sell shit. Ah, so much garbage. I, I care, like, about basically nothing. I'm I'm sure that there are people out there that are, like, clawing their eyes out because I'm not, like, hyper-optimizing my party's gear or anything. But I'm not. Where I play... God, that meteor bow makes me fucking salty. I'm not even gonna lie. Ah, I hate to sell it, but we have to. I can't use it. Thieves pick plus four might be worth holding on to, although he can't use it. Uh, 
Oh, that's just because he's an archer. Never mind. I, for whatever reason, I thought that was chunk. Alright, that stuff's all junk. And uh, that stuff's all junk. Alright! Yeah, that uh, Thieves pick's actually going to be an upgrade for Chunk. Trade with Chunk. Alright, so he's going to get an extra, I think, two points? Yeah. And you just drop that plus two one, because I don't care enough to sell it. How are we looking on food? We are perfectly fine. Uh, let's pop over to training, see if anybody's ready to level. I doubt it. Oh, Dark Mage doesn't count. I mean, we earned... What, maybe like 30 or 50,000 experience points trolling around, so I'll take it. Uh, regardless, though, I do think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So, as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you all had a good time. And next time, we will probably poke around in that Druid's Cave, assuming I remember it's there. Until then.